Nikki Benson here of SSG, here with Matt and Sam. Hey, Marseille. Hey, Marseille. Hey, Nikki. Hello. <laughs> it does not getting old. <laughs> um, thank you so much for that beautiful set you just played for me at the chapel. It was lovely. That was fun. You guys yeah, were wonderful. You. Playing that cello. <laughs> Singing those songs. So, um, you know, I want to ask you, Tell me about that song you said it was a cover about the, the war song. That's a uh, New Order song. Uh, it's called Love Vigilantes. Love Vigilantes. Yeah. And it was really touching and I just want to know why you guys chose to play that song. Um, we actually hadn't played that for like three years up until a couple of days ago because we played this set that was like two hours long and we needed some material. So we pulled that out of, out of our uh, past from our old repertoire um, and realized how much we enjoyed playing it. Uh, we started playing it, I think, just because I really like the song and it fit really well with our instrumentation. The, I, the Iron and Wine cover. That's yeah, we that, do that's where we started. The structure of it is the same as the way Iron and Wine covers that song. Mm, beautiful. So yeah, we're it was it was really touching when you guys can play some some songs that touch the heart. Nice to know why you play them. <laughs> why we make music. <laughs> so tell me along those lines, Matt. When did you fall in love with making music? Um, I used to sing from a really young age and used to be really bad at it. Um, and so that's what compelled me to pick up a guitar is to have something to sing along with. Um, and as soon as I started learning chords, I kind of just started writing songs and stopped any uh, training for music theory that could have made me a better musician today. Uh, but I've been doing it for a long time. I started in church and uh, hmm. sang along with the radio as I was riding in the back of my parents' car. Well, you have a beautiful voice. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you for gracing the world with it. <laughs> You're very welcome, world. <laughs> um, so you just got back from Dobe Festival. You're going to Bumber Shoots in just a few days now. A couple weeks, a yeah. few days, posting time. Um, how stoked are you about that? Um, I'd say pretty stoked. Pretty this stoked. This is our second year doing Bumber Shoot. Second year doing Dobe as well. Yeah. So both um, pretty important milestones for being from Seattle. There's not a lot of um, bigger venues you can really play than, like Bumbershoot. No, Broad Street Stage. Yeah. Sunday. Sunday, September 5th, 215? 215. 215. Yeah, 15. Playing, uh, Broad There'll be thousands of people screaming after you. Thousands of people. It's going to be insane. <laughs> I predict that as well. So, another big thing you guys have been doing is um, touring. Oh yeah, you just toured with Toad the Wet Sprocket. How was that? Everything that you can imagine would be awesome about a 90s folk pop band was awesome. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Do you have any uh, star experiences you want to share about that? Uh, I shared a chicken fried steak with uh, Randy the drummer at a casino in <gasps> Reno. Uh, after losing a uh, solid 80 bucks to uh, what I thought was an infallible roulette strategy, but Randy was kind enough to share his chicken fried stick with me. That was nice. To, to cheer him up after losing the money. Do you have another story, Sam? Because you're laughing over there, uh, sidebar laughing. <laughs> oh, no, not not really any stories in particular. It was it was a really good time, though. We, yeah. had, a, we had a really good time touring with those guys. So. Who I think is cooler than Toad the Wet Sprocket is Ravenna Woods. <laughs> we had a good time touring with those guys yes. as well. <laughs> those East Coast states. They, they, they didn't bring quite as you. they didn't bring quite as many people, but <laughs> they're, they're, they're still fun. Now buy me chicken fried steak. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we they were a, very uh, good to hang out with in a band. Uh, there were ten of us in a band for that whole week. Um, and Toad refused to ride in the same band with us. So. <laughs> oh, little sons of Pino Watts. Yeah. Their yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woods is great. Those are cool guys, and they make um, their music is as good or 
I mean, almost as good as, as their personalities. <laughs> so cool guys. Yeah, it, it was a, it was one of the best things about touring with them. I'd say it was just getting to watch watch their show every night. Yeah, it was a, it was a real treat. Aww. <laughs> well, I'm sure they feel the same way about you guys. You guys rule. Maybe. But I, <laughs> so sure. I, I cannot. I am not. I will never get sick of seeing Ravenna Woods play a show. Never. Yeah, they're fun to watch. Watching a lot of fun. Play. You told me a story earlier about Matt. <laughs> Tell me what happened to the Matt, band. Matt, Matt Badger from Ravenna Woods, the uh, the drummer. We, we had a lot of really long trips in the van with those guys, seven, eight hours at a time. So uh, for, one of the, for one of the trips to pass the time, I convinced Chris, the, the singer of Ravenna Woods, to give Matt Badger Willie Nelson style pigtails. <laughs> how did Chris know how to make pigtails? I, I think he braids his I own hair. Know. I should have. I should have. Yeah, I should have inspected that a little more. But <laughs> that'll be a follow-up That's question. Fun. Yeah. We'll have to, Can you interview them? We'll have to figure that he out. He wouldn't. It, although the pigtails looked, they looked great on him. He looked really, really good with Anything the pigtails. Anything looks good on that bed. Yeah, He's but he beautiful. wouldn't. He wouldn't wear it for the show, which bummed me out. Maybe his totally next show will wear the pigtails. I hope so. He had his hair in a bun I, for. Capitol Hill Walk Party. I think we're gonna we're we're gonna tell him that he can't play on stage with us at Bummer Shoot unless he does the pink Oh, oh yeah. So he's guesting with you at Bummer Shoot. We we hope so. I don't I don't know if we've asked Have him, we asked yet, him but yet, but yeah. We he has for the last uh, couple shows here. that we've played since then. <laughs> yeah. Well, fantastic. Um, something else that was special for the SSG set you just gave me. You played a new song. That I got. Have you recorded it yet? We haven't. Um, we've played it at a couple of shows, um, but we haven't recorded it. It'll be one of many songs that we'll probably be considering for the next record, which is we're working on writing some more stuff for and probably looking at recording it um, the next year. Have you been writing in the interim process? Because I know you guys did a record in 2008 and you re released it in 2010. Yes, yeah. So, um, so we've been writing since then. Uh, Part of that process has been figuring out how to write better with seven guys contributing seven different ideas. Um, so I think we've got a pretty good handle on that and moving forward. Um, we're at a good place to really write some, a record I think that we're going to feel better about than the one we just released nationally, which was the one you referenced, uh, To Travel Some Trunks, yeah. Cool. Yeah, should be awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to all of those good little details that are going to be coming out and the music and... Thank you so much. Anything else we should know about for the future, Kay Marseille? Play Frisbee every day. And a poll right now of us three. Yeah. How many of us thinks that Sam looks like Mark Baumgarten? One over here. <laughs> I, 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 as I, I said before, both men. yeah, as I said before, I'll take that as a compliment. But Mark Baumgarten gets a lot of attention. He's guy, so. <laughs> we'll have to put them together at some point oh, take man. pictures. Dream team. That's a new oh, SSG man. feature. <laughs> we'll make a calendar. <laughs> um, thank, you guys, thank you guys so much for your time and thank you. Thank you so much. tunes. And I adore you. Oh. Thank you. Seriously, it was the best. Alright, we'll see you at Bumbershoot 2010. Right. Thank you. Ow.